Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo guide on how to complete the new dungeon, which is Spire of the Watcher. Now, I've seen and I've heard and I've read loads of sensational claims on how to do the dungeon easily, how to solo flawless the dungeon easily. Well, I'm not going to make those wild kind of claims. What I'm going to say is, this guide is going to teach you the most efficient way to do the dungeon solo. Once you've learned the dungeon solo, then this guide will teach you the most efficient way to flawlessly solo the dungeon. Sound good? Here we go. So, as you can see in the background gameplay, that I've done my first solo flawless on my Titan. Uh, I've since done it on the, war uh, the Warlock. I'm going to show you the, pro the run, the guide, is going to be on the Warlock. Because for the bosses... It's a little bit better than the Titan, but the Titan has better survivability, so regardless, the Hunter's pretty good as well, so regardless, this strategy will work for all three characters. So, let's have a look at the setup. I am going to be running most of this on Voidwalker. Till we get to the bosses, then I'm going to switch to uh, Well of Radiance. I'm going to be using Wither Horde, Callus Mini Tool, and I'm using the Cataclysmic. You guys don't have to. You can use any Linear Fusion if you want, just if it's got some sort of damage dealing perk, Vorpal, something like that, then uh, it'll be good. And then when I get to the boss, I'm going to be switching to Well of Radiance, and I'll be switching to a rocket launcher. Now, the rocket launcher I'm going to be using is the Hothead Adept. Any adaptive aggressive frame rocket launcher that you guys have that has some sort of perk that's going to help you do more damage, whether it be Vorpal, Explosive, Light, or as the only one that I've really got is Clown Cartridge, which means it will reload two rounds into the mag. Now, again, when I'm when I'm on Void Walk, I'm going to be using uh, Controverse Holds to help me get my grenades back faster, which will allow me to play more aggressively because I'll proc devour on grenade kills. And uh, I'll be using Starfire Protocol on the Dawn Blade, and that gives me two grenades. And when I do damage within my will. I will get grenades back faster. Rockets will basically give me a grenade back with every hit. With a horde's constant tick damage with weaken and clear will help as well. So, what's the main thing about this dungeon? Well, the mechanics and survivability. Survivability, that kind of goes without saying. As you'll have seen on the, the perks, I've got striking hand. Is it striking hand or striking distance? The second perk means that I take less damage when I'm running and you are going to be running a lot in this dungeon so that's kind of a good one your damage uh, perks your mods that the damage resist should match the activity so there's a lot of solar and a lot of void in here so you can mix and match between those to keep yourself alive now the nodes are the most important because if you know where the nodes are you can complete each section really quickly and the faster you complete the sections the less chance, well, the less time you're going to be dealing with ads, right? So, the first section, which is where we're coming up to now, is basically involves you learning the mechanics of shooting the nodes. There are a bunch of nodes you have to shoot on a circuit, on a line. You see the on the right and the left, you'll see yellow cables. That denotes nodes connecting each other. To, to actually shoot the nodes, you have to kill a minotaur, as you can see here. When you kill the minotaur, you will get, uh, like, a... A, a Vex Milk looking thing on the floor, which is your buff, you see on the left hand side of the screen, Architrician. Every time you shoot a node, you will get five seconds back on your timer. Now, I'm going to show you these in order. So that was back right, there are only one node and then two additional nodes on back right. That is that full node done. Now we're going to go front right. You can, you can name them whichever you want, but you can see which ones I'm doing. I'm doing, as you come into this area, I'm doing the right-hand side first. I'm not going to be shooting tons of nodes to so I can run and shoot them whenever wherever I want. Because the thing about the nodes is you can kind of shoot them out of order if they're, if they're close together. But it's advisable to shoot them in order, because if you don't, you'll be shooting nodes and they won't, it, it just won't do anything. You know, you have to, if you shoot them out of order, like you see me shoot that one there, it doesn't light up. But if I'd have shot the one in front of it, it would have lit both of them up. You've got a little bit of time to do that. To start the nodes, what you have to do is you've got to shoot the very first one, which will have arc arrows pointing 
in, in, in a direction, up or down. That starts, that's the arc one there. You'd have seen, if you, if you go back on this video, I went and done them all one at a time. All the node progressions have been done one at a time. So I'm not missing any. I'm not cutting in between or go, going from one node to another. I've done one at a time. And the reason why I've done all four and then shot the final nodes, which is in this square, if you shoot these nodes before you've... If you, if you just finish one line and then you shoot the last one, you then will get supplicants, exploding harpies. If you don't shoot them, if you leave it and only shoot the last one, uh, if you only shoot the last one when you've done all four, you'll be fine. Now, as you've seen there, the next step is to slide down that, that big ramp. If you do little jumps, uh, if you do little jumps, and then land on those kind of pillars, those uh, ledges on the left and right, you'll be fine. If you slide all the way down and then try and jump, there is a chance you're going to die from fall damage. So if you're going for the flawless, if you've learnt this and you're going for the flawless, then it is worth your while taking your time coming down there. Now you will have seen that I've switched to the, the, the arc bow. Sometimes the names of these things just completely disappear out of my head. Trinity Go, Jesus. I've switched to Trinity Go. Now, when you're switching from Witherhorde, which I will again, I will switch it at the Harpy boss back to Trinity Go for the ad clearing capabilities. Make sure you switch to a primary grenade launcher so that when you switch back to your Witherhorde, you will get ammo. It doesn't take the ammunition off you if you switch to the same weapon type. So, now we're on to the bit of the jumping puzzle. What I do here, you can kind of just chance it and jump past all the enemies, but what I tend to do as I take these enemies out because there's a, there's a lot of them. Harpies are going to play, play into quite a bit of this dungeon. We'll speak about the best ways to deal with them when we get to the, where, where they're going to become a problem. So you've also got this Hydra. And you see there what I've done is the grenade launcher that I switched to is a blinding grenade launcher. So I hit the Harpy with a blinding nade. Stop shooting at me. I have my super. Fired it. Jobs are good one. Be very careful on this jumping section, right? especially not this one, but this one coming up. Land up here and don't go too close to the edge, especially if you're on a hunter. Because if you jump from a ledge, too, if you jump too close to the edge of a ledge, it will take your initial boost off you, leaving you with only one boost after you've jumped. So be very careful of that. So here we go, we're going all the way up, and as you can see, we've got we're well, good friends, the harpies are waiting for us. No luck for them because we've got we've got our uh, lightning rod propped on our divinity our Trinity Go, Divinity? <laughs> I don't think so. So again, around about here there, there is the, and another reason for killing all these ads is there there is a hidden chest around here. I'm not gonna show all the collectibles. I think we're past the point where there are maybe about 3,000 guides showing you exactly where they are. So that's not the point of this, this video. point of this video is showing you guys how to do this efficiently. So, so we've, killed, we've killed the harpies. We just killed this last one. And then I'll kind of show you where the, the hidden chest is. Just making sure that there's no more enemies. It's actually behind us. I hope I do, did show it. Uh, it's actually behind us. See there. I'm just trying to take this last one out. I didn't go to it because I already had it. No, I haven't showed it. It's that where we are, where we were. If you turn back and jump round to the right, if you turn back and go right back to the wall, you can jump. There's platforms on the right hand side of the wall, which you can go round onto another big long platform and then jump round again. And it's on a platform round there. That is the jumping section done. We just. Put a weather horde on now. The, the cool thing about weather horde, which I've only just realized maybe in the last week, is it bypasses the hydra shields, so you don't have to wait for the shield to turn. The weather horde will go straight through the shield and start damaging the hydra. Now we're on to the first real encounter. This is where you'll get your first pinnacle reward, and this is where you will employ the tactics from the opening section. All it is here is you've got two lines of nodes to shoot on three different levels. So six lines all in, but two on each level. You're going to have a bunch of ads, obviously minotaurs to allow you to get the buff, 
and you're going to have hydras. For the most part, you don't want to kill the hydras. The minute you kill those hydras, you will start getting supplicants, exploding harpies. And we all know what we think about them, you harpies. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use our grenade to uh, to keep us alive, to proc devour, so that you know you've got ten seconds to get a kill after you get a kill with your grenade. So this one is quite difficult to explain where the nodes are because there's so many in this section and even though they're in the same place all the time there's three different levels so if you're wondering where the nodes are i am going to be doing it one at a time so in you in this guide you will get to see all of them so when you start there's your first two as you've seen there was the little junction box above those nodes with arrows denoting that this is the the master node this starts all off now rule of thumb here when you shoot a node, if the line going to the node, not the cable coming away from it, but the line going to the node, lights up, then you've shot the correct, you've shot all the nodes in that line. You see how that one lit up, and now that one lights up. And it says there, arc node circuit complete. So that's the first one. Now we're going to go back to where we shot both of them. We've already started the second node. I've still got 25 seconds on my buff. I can just bypass and now I'm going to find the next node. Now this one I think is underneath. I'm just going to put my grenade down. There we go. And then the next one is right up top. You can just see it up there. And when we shoot that, that line goes, goes, uh, that line lights up blue. Now we'll just follow in. I think there is one around here. There's one down low. Yep. Yeah. And then we jump just make sure we've not missed any here there's one up there and then the one down you see because that never lit up i knew i'd missed one and there we go and then we got the gravity lift or oh, the anti-gravity lift pardon me so this next section you've got to actually go and find the nodes so as soon as you land go around here this is where your two nodes are and this is where you'll find your minotaur for the buff so we're just going to pre-put down uh with a horde and then we're going to throw a grenade there that gets us make sure that we're going to keep getting health and now we can shoot both of these nodes again start both the lines just use because melees everything basically counts everything counts to give you devour so we're going to go up top and then we've got to go over here because the next one is underneath this platform and it's very easy to get from here and as you can see the cables are lighting up blue so it's a visual representation that you've shot the correct note. And then the final one is round here. Now, wherever the final ones are, that's where your gravity lift will be. So once we've completed this, that's... Well, we'll obviously have to go round to this one on the next... On the next node progression. There's one down low, the next one's down low. Uh, once we've finished it, we can just go straight up in the gravity lift. Now, the next one is up top. You see that lighting up? Now there's one round here. Now I've shot, I shoot this one, but this one isn't the one, it's this one. And then up top. Now because I shot the one up top, that was out of, or, out of, out of the order of it, but I shot the other one that I was supposed to shoot fast enough, it done both of them. You get a little bit of time to correct your mistake. So when you come up in the left, on this is the final floor, when you come up in the left, the, the node you need to start is right here and the other one the next node you actually pass it so you can activate it as you're doing the first node so there we go and, and it lights up blue so we know we've done that one correct there's another one up top this third level the nodes are quite spread out so you can see there there's the next node that starts the next section just making sure i'm not missing any there we go and then the last one is here and we can go back and follow this line round to the right. Now what I noticed is one, they all, these two node lines on the third level, first one nearly on both both ones starts low. So they almost mirror each other in the way that they are they're set out. But again, don't take chances, you see? Be be mindful of that visual representation that uh, when you've shot the correct node, the back line will light up just like that and there we go that is that section finished very simple it's as long as you don't kill the hydras 
you're golden. That is the most important thing. Do not kill the Hydras. So that is us done that section. Now we are on to the Harpy. This one is the boss. It's a, it's a very similar. In fact, it's exactly the same as the boss in uh, Garden of Salvation. Uh, and yeah, now we're going to ch change subclass and continue with the gate. So this is our first real boss battle. And as, as, as I've already said, I'll be switching to Will of Radiance uh, and Starfire Protocol. You do not need to switch to Starfire Protocol for this. I just did out of habit. I will also be switching to Trinity Ghoul to take care of some of the ads before we start DPS. Again, remember to put on a primary grenade launcher so that you, when you switch back to Wither Horde, you'll still have ammo. Now, what I forgot to put on here is Striking Light. It's better to put Striking Light on here than it is anything else. So and my, my, my suggestion would be make sure you stick with Striking Light. So... This boss is very repetitive, so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you one full rotation and then the boss, how to kill, actually killing the boss. Took me four or five damage phases to do that. Now, I, I'm not concentrating on any uh, additional damage perks, uh, well, uh, elemental well builds. I'm not bothered with any of those. This is just sheer damage output you can obviously you can start specking into that the further in you get but for right now i'm showing you just raw damage you see my my weather horn bounce off that that uh my weather horn bounced off that that opening so everything you've learned here is the same the four starting nodes to start the node progressions are right in the same and then you're at what you need to do as you need to go across these four platforms, the north, south, east, east, west, and shoot the nodes all the way up to the end. Now you want to do three, right? And then on the fourth one, you're going to hold off from shooting the final node. So I'll show you what I mean on this one. I'm going to shoot this one on the side, and then we'll shoot the very last one, which will drop that battery. See so the fuel rod activated. That will then drop into the floor. We're going to do three of those. And when we get to the fourth one, we'll light all the nodes up, but we will not shoot the final one. Then we're going to clear out. You see these harpies that have appeared? Every time I complete a fuel rod, we will get uh, a, a round of harpies. If you shoot them every time they appear, it will not stop them spawning. If you do three sections, and then, as you can see here, I'm going to change. I'm going to put on my primary grenade launcher, and I'm going to switch to Trinity Ghoul. Now... I can kill them because they will not reappear after I do the fourth one. It's only one, two, and three. Okay? And you want to clear them because if you don't, you're going to be dealing with tons of incoming void lasers as you're dealing damage to the boss. Right? So I'm not even bothered too much about uh, keeping the buff. I'll, I'll reacquire it if I need. You see, I've got 20 seconds. I'll reacquire it should I need. Now... As you can see here, I'm not moving too much, and that's why I'm getting hit. So when I get up here, before I put down my, my Well of Radiance, I can just put my Rift down, and that will allow me to, to clear the rest of these Harpies. I want to clear as many of them as possible, because if I don't, they will come to me when damage starts. Now I can switch back to my SMG, my Wither Horde, and then shoot the final one, because I've still got 5 seconds of buff. Now the boss will come to you. DPS starts. I'm just going to drop a Wither Horde down here, because there's a bunch of ads appearing. Damage starts, the timer starts, the minute he's right now. As soon as those kind of wings open, that's when damage starts. The longer it takes you to shoot the eyes, the less time you've got for just sheer damage. Now, you see, there we go, we've got him. Just put a Wither Horde up. I've tossed my melee because a charged melee on this will make, give me radiance. So you see there, I'm hitting him for about 113,000, 117,000. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of this boss, right? Because he is tanky. You see, I put a bunch of damage into him, and we've basically done about a fifth. This was, I think this was a five phase. So now what we're going to do, that's one full rotation. You shoot these ones in the center, you shoot three lines of the nodes, and then before, after you shoot the three lines, you can shoot some of the nodes on the fourth line, but then kill your 
your uh, kill the harpies that were around you see here this is us I've skipped to the very last section because each section is the same nothing changes so there was no point in showing you guys me doing all the sections see I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage from the incoming harpies because this time what I done is I actually shot all the nodes instead of taking the harpies out before getting to the end now I took all the harpies I need to take finish off the node and I can put down my well and then switch to back to the SMG, back to Weatherhorde. Rinse and repeat. So you, again, you want to make sure you've got linear fusion rifle ammo. Finder on your Weatherhorde being an exotic will drop more heavy ammo for you. So just try and make sure you're getting kills with Weatherhorde as well. I've went for this SMG because it has 37 or 38 in the mag. The more ammo in the mag, the better. So you see here, what I've done differently here, which I lumped from the first one, is I'm only going to throw one grenade and then we're just going to go for pure uh, linear fusion rifle damage and that's it literally just rinse and repeat no you it's difficult to explain the nodes where they are locations because as you're running about you because the old sides look the same you won't know which side to start at but I have in the first run showed you exactly where all the nodes are so if you learn that as you're doing this, by the time you get to maybe your third damage phase, you'll know exactly where they are. So just pay attention to the first full run I've done of that, and then rinse and repeat for yourself. As I say, I'm, I've chose the weapons I've chose. You don't have to choose the Cataclysmic. Uh, if you have it, use it. But if you don't, any I would go with a, a Vaist SMG, uh, Linear Fusion, obviously for Vice Stinger which has the chance to reload which would then increase for burst damage you'd be doing more damage anything that will give you ammo back is good as well so now we're on to this is a bit of a kind of filler section in between uh this and the boss there are two of these sections and then a section very similar to this so again it's exactly the same in the respect you have to shoot nodes except for th this one there's no starting node you can shoot any of the nodes you want. You just are time-gated on how fast you can clear them. You have to shoot five nodes in each of these. So you see a Minotaur's come. Once you clear enough ads, a Minotaur comes. And these are where the five nodes are. Two on the right, one mid, one top left, and then one on the little kind of beam crossing the, 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 the two platforms. If you shoot them fast enough, you've got a couple of seconds in between them. That will complete that. You drop through the little red square and then move down to every Zero Hour player's nightmare, which is the fans, which we haven't seen come back into the game since Zero Hour. When we get to the next section, it works for both sections. I'll show you exactly how to beat these very simply. So we're back on another level. Got to clear these ads to get the Minotaur out. Uh, and that would be the ads at the bottom. I'm killing the snipers because... I kind of want to shoot the nodes without having to worry about getting sniped all the time. But the ads at the bottom, they are the ads you've got to clear to get the Minotaur out. Now, for some reason, you'll have seen that do that again. The Wither Horde on these blast doors, it bounces like a like it's a, like any normal grenade launcher. So once you've cleared them, you'll see the spawns coming back in. And right here is where the Minotaur spawns. Now, when we kill the Minotaur, to give us the best view on all the nodes... We're going to move around to the other side. We'll just throw a grenade down there. That gives us Devour. Just move around here. Now, you do have a bit of time. As you can see, I've still got 20 seconds. I've got five seconds for each node. So there's one mid left, one on the beam, one top mid, one top right, and then one bottom right. That is the location of all five nodes. Very easy. Now we're on to the second blade section, from the zero hour blade section. What you do here is when the blades are coming, kind of walk off as the blade is passing. So, bang, right there, bang, bang. Don't wait for it to, to move. See how I've walked off as that's just passing me? And then we're going to do the same thing here. Kind of walk off as the blade is passing. Don't wait for it to pass. Move as it's passing. So, this section here is a little bit different, but the same idea as the last two sections. You've got five nodes. You have to shoot them pretty quickly. I'm going to show you how not to do it. Uh, I'm not joking. I didn't 
mess up. I'm going to show you how not to do it, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So that what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that that uh, hydra in the center, and then I'm going to move. Right now, the reason why I move is, is I'm going to show you how to incorrectly do this. And the reason I'm going to show you the incorrect way to do this is, you know, you'll understand. I've moved, and I haven't shot the center one first. The center one is very difficult to find. So you want to make sure you are finding it straight away. So you can see, if you don't do it fast enough, lockdown override failed, arc nodes reset. Position yourself when you get the buff to shoot the middle one first. And then there is a node on each corner. Very simple then to shoot the nodes if you get the middle one first. Easy. Now, my way of doing the middle one is when I drop into the center, I find the middle one and then I move to a corner where I can see the middle one very easily. When the Minotaur comes out, if he's not, I, I try and activate him so he comes close to me so that I don't have to move very far to shoot the node. Shoot the middle one, and then there is one in the middle of each wall. It's a square room, so there's four. Now, I've showed you here where the hidden chest is. If you want to get to it really quickly, when you're standing looking at the middle node, it's, it's underneath the staircase to your left. And then what you want to do is you want to find one of these squares at the side. There are a couple that are open. Drop down, and we are at the boss. Now... We're going to change to rockets and we're going to change to uh, well of radiance but this this is where it's all led up to the boss battle here it's the simplest but the most complex so we're going to change subclass and then we're going to get into this boss battle which as i've said is very easy in essence and very complicated so the idea is your boss starts in the front room you're going to get a hydra left and right kill your hydra and then you're going to get a Minotaur, which gives you your buff. When you get the buff, you've got to shoot five nodes in the center, which I will show you in a minute. That opens that middle door, but it opens two randomly selected node lines. You'll get, it could either be the two on the right. There's only four node lines. It could be the two on the right or the two on the left or one each side. The node lines are the complicated part, so here we go. This is exactly where each of the nodes are. So this is the back, back right nodes. There are four, I think three outside and then three inside, right? So just try and learn these nodes. Uh, the faster you can do these nodes, the easier this, this boss is gonna be. Nothing else matters. Learn where the nodes are, it's the most important thing. So that was back right, this is front right. They won't change. Where they are, where I'm showing you, is exactly where these nodes will be when you get these uh, section of nodes. So this is front right. Then we'll do back left, front front left. Learn these. Jobs are good. And gold. All right. So again, while while I'm showing you these nodes, let me explain a little bit more about the damage. So when you when you start, you're going to get a hydra left and right. One weather horde, which. As I've already said, Weather Hordes bypass Hydra Shield, so you just fire your Weather Horde on it and then put a grenade on the Weather on the, the Hydra. Left and right. What that will do is it'll open up these side doors allowing you to come into this room. Come into this room, there will be no ads here until you open up the middle door. When you open up the middle door, that that is when the boss starts following you around. I think this is front left now. So you open up the middle door by shooting. Once you get the buff, 30 seconds, by shooting the five middle nodes I'm going to show you right after this set of nodes. These are the five here, right? So one, there's one on each of the pillars and one above the door. The nodes then, once you shoot those nodes, it will open up two of the nodes on the, on the other side of those right and left pillars at random. You shoot the node, put node lines, you see here, there's your hydras. Watch out for these, oh my god, these <laughs> harpies. <laughs> uh, watch out for the harpies, because they will just follow you. Once you've done damage, once you've cleared the two, uh, the hydras, then you can come into this room. There'll be no ads in this room. See how the, the chicken came over to look through? 
to get that to stop, stay on the side, whichever side you're on, left or right, stay on the side of the door that's closest to the middle. The, the, the chicken will then just go and stand in the middle. Now I've done this different to the way I normally would. What I would normally do is always take the, harp, the, the minotaur from the right hand side. You will see me do that at the, at the end of the first DPS. And then you just fire a, fire a weather horde at the bottom of the stairs. Those harpies, man. They'll be waiting there. And they'll all ride into it and they'll all die. Shot, you see, arc node complete. I've opened up the middle door. But it also opens up two nodes at random. Because you've hopefully spent time learning the nodes, you'll know exactly where they are. Come in and shoot them. One at a time. What I like to do is shoot one line and then get out. Now, uh, you can see here I'm going to refresh my buff. I don't need to, but the boss will follow you. So after you've shot your first node, if you come back into this room, he will follow you back into this room. But before you shoot, before you finish your second node, you need to make sure the boss is in this room. Because when you shoot your second node, you're going to get an alarm. That is letting you know there's going to be an arc charge let off in this room which will take his immunity shield off him and it will make that will start damage. So you see there, reactor core purged, reactor reactor isolation chamber active. Another thing you need to make sure is that you've got enough buff. You only need about, you need about 15 seconds because you get five seconds of extra time every time you shoot one of these. You shoot the five. Now what I do is I shoot four, I stick a wither horde on the boss and then I shoot the fifth. That means the boss is already debuffed when the door opens. So I've done everything, I've shot the nodes, I've shot the two sets of nodes, we've got them in, we locked them in the other room, we closed the door, now it's DPS. Now, what I like to do is I like to rock it, uh, I go between rock it, my, I make sure I put my melee on him to get Radiance, Weather Horde, but you see there, every time I do big damage to him, I get a grenade back. Weather Horde is constantly refreshing my grenade as well. And then once he gets up to about there, so he's seen that time, maybe about 20 seconds, 15, 20 seconds. That's all the time you've got. Percy's overcharges at shields, now he's immune. Now you come into the front room. Kill the adds that are here, and no other adds will spawn until you get to the point in this rotation, which is the exact same time, exact same every time, where you've opened the, this middle door. So we want to keep... We want to keep Persis in... Is that his name? Persis? We want to keep him right in front of the big main door. We don't want him coming to the side shooting through these side doors at us. So like I said, stay on the side of the doorway that is closest to the middle. And he will just stand in the middle. A weather horde and a grenade on each of the hydras and jobs are good. Now I'm going to... This is how I normally do it. This is my normal rotation. I take the hydra, the, the minotaur on the right hand side. Now, now, this is why I do this, and this is why you keep uh, the chicken in the middle. Because now, he won't try and intercept you, he will just follow you. So now I'm leading him up the staircase and round. I put a weather horde down, which has killed all those goddamn harpies. Now, I'm opening up the middle door. Perseus is still following me. So he won't try and intercept, he will follow your route. So you can lead him all the way down the stairs, in which case... You're behind the barriers, you've got cover while you shoot the five middle ones and then you go looking for the two nodes on the inside of the pillars that have opened. Rinse and repeat. Follow that rotation exactly every time and you will be hopefully pleasantly surprised at how simple this boss battle is. Now again, I've shot I've 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 got them in the other room, the alarm went off, I shot my two nodes, the alarms went off, I've come back and had I had enough buff. Shot the four ones on the pillars first, put a weather horde on the boss, and then shot the one above the door. Now, as I say, you don't have tons of time. You'll hear an audio thing that's rising. It's like a background noise that's rising. That's how that's you getting closer and closer to needing to close the door. And again, rocket grenade, rocket grenade, weather horde melee. This was a four phase that took me 14 minutes. The boss battle took me 14 minutes. I knew where the nodes were, which I've shown you guys exactly where they all are. I knew where the nodes were, and I just went after each time because I was firing my weather horde. And you can see here how much heavy the weather horde's producing. Jobs are good. 
And there you go, guys. That is my solo dungeon, Gaiden. How you guys can quite easily... <laughs> See what I've done there? You guys can get this done efficiently. Follow the pattern and you guys will be good. Thanks a lot for watching. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like. And I will see you guys in the next video. Finite seconds lost in the margins then. Now, there's only the one of more. But we learn to make do, young wolf. And turn the edge of defeat into victory.